Now, to boost the country's revenue from mineral production, the government is instructing the Minerals Income Investment Fund to work with the Ministries of Lands and Natural Resources and National Security to tackle gold smuggling and the legal financing of mineral projects. This action follows reports that Ghana loses around $2 billion in revenue annually due to gold smuggling and illegal mining. My colleague Daniel Odrumesa provides further details in the following report. The increasing rate of gold smuggling has drawn the attention of foreign governments, including the United Kingdom, which has highlighted the significant harm this issue poses to Ghana's revenue generation. In 2022 alone, it was reported that nearly 60 tons of gold were smuggled out of the country, worsening financial losses. The UK has cautioned that if unregulated mining practices and illegal small-scale mining known locally as Galamse are not addressed, the consequences for Ghana's economy could be dire. Speaking at the Minerals Income and Investment Fund, MIF, Stakeholder Conference in Accra, Deputy Minister of Lands and Natural Resources George Mrikuduka called on the fund to take the lead in fighting gold smuggling operations. And six, further collaborate with the Ministries of Lands and Natural Resources, Finance, National Security to develop a robust system to track gold smuggling and illicit financing of mineral projects in the country. I trust we could and would pitch in to support these initiatives which are meant to move us from what has been described as a colonial legacy to a more proactive approach to our developmental agenda. At the same time, the Minerals Income and Investment Fund has revealed plans to introduce a dividend payout system to enhance government funding through mineral royalties. Edward Nanaya Kranting is the Chief Executive Officer of the fund. So what we are trying to seek is to um, set up or establish a world-class mineral sovereign wealth fund. Any sovereign wealth fund that is going to achieve on this mandate has to be independent. Um, we've had very good support from the Ministry of Finance and the government so far. But it's important that we also establish a system where we pay dividend to the government where you can't have a situation where government can just come in and, you know, for want of a better word, take, take funds from your account. You know, so we, we are working on a dividend payout policy that governs how dividend is paid out to government. That also cements the independence of MIF and also um, creates or changes negative perceptual biases that maybe foreign investors may have of the fund and even of Ghana. Stakeholders have highlighted the need for value addition of Ghana's natural resources as essential tools for the country's development. For CNR Business, my name is Daniel Udro Mensah.